I have this image and I want this image to fit proportionately within this space. Um, there's a couple ways we can do this. Let's take a look. First, the first thing I want to do is I want to see exactly how much of this image is outside of this frame. So what I want to do is on that little donut in the middle, I press on it and I just keep my finger on it so I can see exactly how much image is there. All right, as you can see, there's quite a bit of it that is outside of the frame. Okay, now manually, I can scale it manually by using the direct selection tool, tap on the actual image which within the frame, grab one of the corners, put my finger, in this case, I put my finger on the Option key and the Shift key, and then when I pull it in, what it does is it scales it from the middle proportionally. That's one way of doing it, okay? Uh, I can just put my finger, again, I select the image, and remember, I'm selecting the image, not the frame. And if I just put my finger on the Shift key, it'll scale it from whichever edge I select. So in this case, if I do it manually, you want to put your finger on the Option and the Shift key. If you're on the Mac, it will be the it will be the Alt and the Shift key. If you're on a PC, that will scale it from the center proportionally. All right, that is how you would do it if you wanted to do it manually. But really, the best way to do it is to just tap on the frame, not the contents of the frame, but the frame itself. Go up to Op. Uh, object, drop down to fitting, and say fit content proportionately. And what it'll do is it'll automatically just fit it right in that space. You could even say, uh, let's zoom out, you could say object, go down to fitting, and you can say fill frame proportionately. All right now, this way, what it'll do is it'll take a look at the height and the width, and it'll figure out which way would be the best way to fill it proportionally. And in this case, it would be the height. So it looks at the height, but you can see you're missing most of the image on the left and the right hand side. So if you want the whole image in there, object fitting, fit content proportionally. And of course, which if you wanted to do this, why I don't, I don't recommend this, is to just fit it, period. You could say fit uh, content frame, and that stretches it, and that's not what you want to do. All right, um, and then there's another thing you can do. You can actually collapse the frame to fit it to the content. So let's say we go to object, drop down to fitting, and then you can say fit frame to content. Now that will collapse the frame to fit the content. So you can see you can do it manually or you can do it automatically but it all takes place, object fitting. Okay, hopefully that helps.